Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are talking about percent increase and percent decrease, percent change, and word problems with percent change. What you can expect is that we will talk about percent increase and decrease. We'll talk about adding a percent to an amount, and we'll look at some word problems that involve adding a percent to an amount. Start out with percent change. This is the equation for percent change. Percent change is the amount that it changed divided by the original amount, and then you multiply that times 100. That is the equation for percent change. So let's look at some questions that actually involve percent change. John's salary was $30,000 per year. If it went up by $1,500, what is the percent increase? So we're looking for the percent increase in his salary. So our equation is the amount of change over the original amount, and we multiply that times 100. So we are given some numbers in here. His salary was 30000 per year, and it went up by 1500 Those are the numbers that we need. The amount that it changed were given. It increased by 1500 That's the amount that it changed. So that's going to go in our numerator. $30,000 is the original amount. So that's going to be where it started. It started at 30000 and that's the original amount. If you can pick out those two pieces, then you can set this up and, and do pretty well at this. So 1,500 divided by 30,000 gives you 0 0.05, and we multiply that times 100, or in other words, we change that decimal into a percent, and it becomes 5%. John had a 5% salary increase that year. All right, so that is how you solve a percent increase question when you're told the amount that it increases and the original amount. With this next question, we it's going to be a little bit more complicated. Let's take a look at it. I bought a car for 10000 When I sold it, I got 3000 What was the percent decrease? So with this one, we're told the original amount, it started at 10000 but we are not told how much it changes. We're told 10,000 and I sold it for 3,000. Um, but we are not told what the change is. So we have to do one extra step and you need to do this step. You have to, when they don't give you how much it changes, you have to calculate that. So how much did it change? It changed from 10,000 down to 3,000. So it changed by 7,000 and you can see the math there of how to do that. That is my decrease. It decreased by $7,000. So it's important that we don't just plug in the numbers that we're given. You have to figure out what it is you're looking for. You have to say, how much did it change? That's the amount of change. And then the original amount is going to go on the bottom. So in this case, our fraction would look like this, 7,000 divided by 10,000 which gives us 0 0.7. We multiply that times 100, and we find that it is a 70% change. In other words, in this case, it's a 70% decrease. It goes down by 70%. That is the percent change. The other types of questions that I'm going to look at today are adding percents. So if you get this, um, what is 75 if it is increased by 30%. When you're given a question like this, you have two different ways of solving it. I'm going to show you both ways on all of the questions. The first way is that you can find 30% of 75 and then add it to 75. Right? 75 is being increased by 30%. We'll find 30% of 75 and then add that to our amount. So let's go ahead and do that. 30% of 75 um, we'll convert 30% into a decimal, 0 0.3 or just 0.3. We're multiplying is the word of. Of means multiplying and 75 is 75. So 0 0.3 times 75 gives us 22.5. Now, I've done some math. I need to remember that I'm not done yet. I can't say, okay, the answer is 22.5. Because the question said, what is 75 if it's increased by 30%? If I'm increasing 75, 
I'm not quite there yet, am I? No, this is just the 30%. So I have to remember to add that on. So I'm taking my original amount, 75, and I'm adding that 22.5, and I get my new amount of 97.5. So I would say the new amount is 97.5. Now, that is one way to do it. You can calculate the percent and then add it on. There's a bit of a shortcut way that you can do it, and that's to remember what percents mean. 75 is the original amount. It's the full amount. So that is 100%. So an increase of 30% would mean I am actually finding 130% of 75. Okay, now if this is too complicated and you're not understanding this, and you can stick with the first method, great. If you're a little bit more advanced and you want to try this out, try it out and see what happens. All right, so 130% 100, of 75 would be written as 1.3 times 75, and you'll notice you'll get the same answer, 97.5. So I'm going to show you both methods for solving all the word problems that we go through in case you want to do the advanced method or um, the beginner method, both ways will get you the same exact answer and we'll see that throughout. First word problem, in the store I see a video game on for sale, $50. If there's a 6% sales tax, how much will the game cost? So, we're going to find 6% of the cost and add it to our original cost of $50. So I'm finding 6% of 50 I'm going to write 6% as a decimal of means multiplication, 50 means 50, 6 point, 0 0.06 times 50 gives me 3. Now that is not the cost of the video game, that's the cost of the 6% tax. So I take my original amount, $50, and I add my tax of $3 and I get my total of $53. The game will cost $53. My shortcut method is that I'm going to calculate 106%, the total of 100% and adding on 6%, 106. 106% 106 of 50 is 1.06 times 50, and I'll get 53. So again, this way is a little bit shortcut. It does just one step, but if you don't understand that and it's not quite clicking with you, just stick with the original method and you'll get through. Last word problem that we're working on. If I get a salary increase of 4% each year, what will my new salary be if I currently earn $65,000 a year? So I'm looking for my $65,000 salary plus my increase of 4%. We can find 4% then add it to the salary. 4% of $65,000 is calculated by converting my percent into a decimal, of means multiply, 65,000, 65,000. My increase is 2,600. I add that to 65,000, and I'll get my new salary of 67,600. All right. If I do it the other method, uh, my new salary is going to be 104% of my old salary. So 104 of 65,000. I would write that out 1.04 times 65,000 and I would get the same amount. So again, two methods to solve the same type of question. I like the second method because it's a little bit of a shortcut and it's quicker. But if that method is confusing for you, stick with the original method on the, on the left here and you'll get through all the problems just fine. We went through percent increase and decrease. We talked about adding percent and then we did some word problems with adding percent. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.